let me just let me just clear one thing up right now. I'm a, I, I cook food. I cook food that I eat. I eat food that I cook. I ain't no fucking genius professional, and I didn't go to. I didn't sure as shit didn't go to culinary school. So if you're here expecting me to know what I'm talking about, you can fuck off. Right. Now video video can begin. I'm reminding you. Chill Bill, don't make a kill that's have a deal and a woman deal. <laughs> Funny robot lady. First things first, we're gonna make our mushroom filling. About six mushrooms here, chestnut, one celery, a spring onion, and I have three cloves of garlic. Your cooking skills just go out the fucking window when you start filming, you know? They really do. Now let's chop all five with my magic mushroom chopping spell. Choppus Malopus! Garbage! Mushrooms done! And your garlic. Garbage! Don't forget your spring onions. Just kidding. Garbage! Right, let's get it on. We've got a pan on a low heat. We're gonna put a bit of, uh, come on in, we're gonna put a little bit of, a bit of olive oil in that pan. And give it a little swirl. That's good, that's good. You don't need too much. You don't need too much, because what we're doing now is we are going to reduce the mushrooms and just get the liquid out of them so we are left with just the flavor. So let's get those in. Get that, get that all high. We're not doing anything fancy here. We're just reducing mushrooms. And if you don't know any, if you don't know any magic vegetable chopping spells, uh, then there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube that you can use to uh, learn how to chop vegetables better. Myself, I went to wizard school and I learned the hard way. So uh, yeah. cooking is it's like a it's like a rainbow, and your uh, your salt and your pepper is like you know it's like the colours. Without salt and pepper, no food. Without rainbow, without colour, no rainbow. You get what I'm saying? It's a metaphor. Um, it's a metaphor. You know, food. I probably can't remember that. Food isn't literally a rainbow. A rainbow is a rainbow. Food is uh, nutrition. It's stuff, it's stuff you put in your body to eat. Um, it's a metaphor. What a load of shit. <laughs> Sorry if this is a bad video. It probably is. Uh, you know, it's, it's cooking. Cooking's, cooking is bad. Glass dish. Some olive oil in there. It's time to start rolling our chicken. Wesley G. <laughs> right. We're gonna debone our chicken legs now. Along the bone. Sweet, sweet chicken flesh. Just separate your meat from the from its bone. Give your meat a good old wrap. <laughs> wow, look at that. Like Christmas came early. You really know how to handle your meat. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice. Out of there. <laughs> then once you've got rid of all your ghibli bibblies, you should be left with a smooth, silky piece of chicken leg. Nothing bony about it. Now, it's time to roll. You remember our mushroom base thing from earlier, the mushroom that we made? Healthy tip, this stuff goes great in a risotto, so if you want to make a mushroom risotto and you really want to accomplish that mushroom flavour, all you need is a fuck ton of mushrooms. So, let's get the stuffing on top of the chicken leg, like so. And uh, we are going to... Oh, thank you Daisy. Just roll it up. It's quite slippery. Oh, it's very slippery, so be careful. You might want a wet floor sign while you're making these things. Cut! I forgot to turn the oven on. It's on now. 
uh, and you're gonna want your oven at about. Well, our oven's kind of shit, so I'm putting it on 200, but you can probably get away with 180. You know, our oven. We, we don't have a good oven. We don't have a good house. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna season our chicken legs. So, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. The dog in the lead. Dog in the lead, the salt and the pepper, the color and the rainbow. I'm a lady of wait, leisure. Wait, wait, say it again. Okay. Now I'm a lady of leisure, so when I make food, I put one thing in it every time. No matter what it is, don't even matter if it's a glass of water, I put butter in that in that food. Because butter's good, and it, you know, it's, it's Norpak, so it's not actual butter, it's, it's like... Are you trying to do like a... Like a POV? There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Hang on, we got a few, we got a scraggler. made an awfully funny noise when he sat down. <laughs> that was the fucking lid. That was a plastic lid. I'm crying. In the oven it goes. 30 minutes, I don't know. Just put it until it's done. That right. basil smells pangolang. So, uh... I'm making a little sauce to go with it. It's a pea pesto sauce. I came up with it myself. Um, if it's not pesto, I apologise. If it's not pea, hell, I don't. Even, I don't know how I got that one. Uh. Uh, so what we're gonna put in this pea pesto is peas. Good thing. Peas. Pine nuts. Celery. Garlic. And basil. And we're just gonna put it all in a blender and blitz it up. <coughs> so I've made the pesto. Uh, when I, I've come over here, I'll tell you what else. Another another two things you're gonna need is a, a ton of grated parmesan, 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 and uh, yeah, you get that. Is it good? Good stuff. And some stock. A little bit of stock. Just a stock cube and some hot water. Now, look over here. We've got our pasta water heating up smoothly. I've put a bit of, I put a bit of salt and a bit of olive oil in this water. Olive oil to stop the pasta from sticking together. My girlfriend taught me that trick. That's gay as fuck. And, and my mum told me it. Mom, her mum told her that. And then I got some fucking oil in this. Big pan. up Sarah Locker. We got some oil in this. I got some oil in this pan for uh, the pesto. You know what, let's go ahead and start cooking that now. Just get your... Get your pan nice so and hot. before you were just making... Whoa! Brown a bit of stock to that first. You're the ugliest fucking girlfriend I've ever had. Get diagnosed with IBS. I've already got IBS, thank you very much. You need I just to be diagnosed got, with it. I just haven't got a diagnosis. For those of you guys who don't know, di IBS is when stuff like this comes out your pee hole. Get the cream as well. Boom, ba ba ba, pow. Boom, ba boom, boom. Pow! Pow! 
pow, 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 pow. You notice Beautiful. That's that's enough. That's enough. a broccoli looks like da, 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 da. a tree. That's weird. You're weird. That's weird. But I like that. <laughs> that's a good thing. You're. Hey. What? You're looking at me like something's wrong. Welcome you're, to. You're different. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a good thing. You ready? See that girl over there, bride to a beautiful groom, day of, best day of her life, beautiful dress, beautiful hair, that's not me. See the girl stood behind her looking jealous, that's me. But to find out how I got here, we've got to go back. Way back. Whoa, not that far back. And stop, my freshman year. <laughs> what else you got? You ready? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. See, most girls at school got called stuff like, Hey, hottie. Hey, gorgeous. But everyone always greeted me like, Hey, fuck pig. Hey, fuck pig. How's the pussy doing, you fucking slut? You ready? Are you ready for love? Yes, I am. Are you? It's a parmesan. Beautiful cheese parmesan. Not vegetarian. Not vegetarian. But a lot of vegetarians eat it. Funny that, isn't it? Okay, let's put it in. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful parmesan. Pasta in. pasta has been served, the mushroom stuffed chicken has been sliced and placed. This is the end result of pea pasta and mushroom stuffed chicken. <laughs>